Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this transistor circuit, and for the given circuit, we have been asked to find the value of the R in a such a way that this V out is equal to zero. Now here we have been given that the value of the voltage V B for these two transistors, as well as the value of the voltage drop across the diode D one and D two, is equal to 0.7 volt, and we have been also given that. The value of the beta for both transistor is very high. So considering this, now let us find the value of the R. So first of all, let's say the voltage at this node is equal to V A. So if we just apply the K V L in this particular path, then we can say that this voltage V A is equal to minus 12 volt plus V D1 plus V D2, right? That means this voltage V A. Is equal to minus 12 volt plus 1.4 volt. That is equal to minus 10.6 volt. Similarly, let's say the voltage at this node is equal to V B. And since we have been given that the voltage V B is equal to 0.7 volt, so we can say that this voltage V B is equal to V A minus V B. That is equal to minus 10.6 volt minus 0.7 volt. That is equal to minus 11.3 volt. That means voltage at this node is equal to minus 11.3 volt. Now, once we know the voltage at this node, then we can easily find the emitter current. That means this emitter current, I E, is equal to voltage V B minus minus 12 volt divided by 270 ohm. That is equal to 12 volt minus 11.3 volt divided by 270 ohm. That is equal to 2.59 milliampere. That means emitter current I is equal to 2.59 milliampere. And since we have been given that the value of the beta is very high, that means we can say that this collector current is approximately equal to emitter current. That means this collector current I C. Is also equal to 2.59 milliampere, and as you can see, the same current will also flow through this resistor R. That means the current through this resistor R is also equal to 2.59 milliampere. Now here, let's say the voltage at this node is equal to V C. So we can say that this voltage V C is equal to 8.6 volt minus V B. That is equal to 8.6 volt minus 0.7 volt that is equal to 7.9 volt. That means voltage at this node is equal to 7.9 volt. And here we need to find the value of the R such that this V out is equal to zero. And we know that the current through this resistor R is equal to 2.59 milliampere. Let's say this current is equal to I R. So we can say that current I R is equal to voltage V C minus zero divided by R. That means R is equal to V C divided by I R. That is equal to seven point nine volt divided by two point five nine milliampere. That is equal to three point zero four seven kilo ohm. That means whenever the value of the R Is equal to 3.047 kilo ohm. At that time, this V out is equal to zero volt. So from this, we can say that for the given question, the value of the R is equal to 3.047 kilo ohm.